Alex Neal returns to his former employers this afternoon as Stoke City travel to Sunderland. It's a huge game for both sides, really. Alex Neal, of course, is going to be well up for it today. Sunderland are going to be even more up for it because they pretty much need a win today to keep up with that playoff race. Us, meanwhile, we're sort of, I wouldn't say safe at the moment, but we're looking a lot better than we did, say, four or five weeks ago. We're nine points clear of the relegation zone at the moment, but, you know, we're, we're only early March. We've still got to keep that up. I think we will do just enough to stay up, but, you know, we need to pick up a couple of wins here and there, you know, if we are to guarantee it. Like I said, Alex will return to the Stadium of Light for the first time, so it's going to be a hostile atmosphere in there from the home end especially. We've just got to get behind Stoke today and hope we can come away with all three points. Of course, we had a really poor result against Millwall, but I think despite losing in midweek in the FA Cup, I think it was a really good performance and, you know, the lads did us proud. I thought we gave Brighton a really good game and it was only, you know, the likes of Matoma and McAllister that we mentioned that, that really did you know, decide the game and, you know, their Premier League players, I mean, McAllister, a World Cup winner. Last time we played Sunderland away was that magical display from Marko Arnautovic back in 2017. Hopefully, though, today we can come away with all three points once again. But yeah, without further ado, let's get up to Sunderland. It's going to be a long trip. Come on, Stoke. Team news is out. Five changes from the game against Brighton in midweek. Messias Sarkic, of course, comes back in net. A back four of Dujon Sterling, Ben Wilmot. Phil Jagielka returns to the side alongside Kiana Hover, who will probably be at left back today. Midfield, Pearson, Lauren and Smallbone with a front three of Dwight Gale, former Newcastle striker, of course, alongside Jacob Brown and Tyrese Campbell probably going off the left today. Very, very strong bench, you know, the likes of Thompson, Baker and Tymon. A couple of youngsters on there as well, Connor Taylor and Nathan Lowe. Score prediction, I really would take a point here. I'm going to go for a one all draw, Gale and Diallo to score. Hopefully we do at least get a point. I mean, if we get anything more, that would be absolutely fantastic. But, you know, Sunderland, really strong side. But yeah, let's get into the game. Really good players on the line. 
the mold of the Half time, 1 0 Stoke. The late goal from Lauren towards the end of the half sees us ahead at the interval. I thought overall we've, we've pretty much dominated the, the game so far. I mean, Sunderland have had a couple of chances, but not really any clear cut ones. They've had a you know, good few openings, but haven't really managed to have any threatening attempts on goal. They've had a couple of ones that have gone high and wide, but you know, nothing really that's troubled Sarkic into any you know, scrambling saves. As for us, they were playing really, really well down the wings. I'm really liking Will Smallbone's input, Campbell on the left. You know, I think he's been really, really strong down there and put some really dangerous balls across. I mean, you only have to look at the goal. It was a ball that comes across and Lawrence there to put it in. Really impressed with everyone so far. Shame that Wilmot came off about halfway through the half. He was replaced by Morgan Fox. Morgan Fox has gone in and playing at left centre-back in a back four. It was a really, really messy start in terms of, you know, the quality of the play, but we've managed to, you know, really put a foot down and get the ball playing and it's been... You know, really good watch so far. Hopefully we can double the lead in the second half, but the most important thing is we're winning and hopefully we can keep hold of it and take three points back to the Potteries tonight. Come on. Change at half time for Stowe. Matthias uh, Arkic comes off in place of Jack Bonham. Unsure what happened there. It's towards the end of the first half, I know there was quite a few corners and set pieces. Whether he's tweaked some, I don't know, but hopefully he's alright.
Sunderland get one back, it's 3 1. Pitch off post into the net. Really nice play though from uh, Diallo on the edge of the box. Sunderland are back in it, just past the Avalon. And what's the ball? Oh, nice. Here comes Sunderland. Ball across the box. Here comes the biggest that's conceded in the third. Really need to get their act together. Three points here. So forward again. It's come to the edge of the box. Good block from Jack Yelka. Small run away from it. It's deep. Headed by Brown. Pinball in the foul. I don't know if anyone...
Coming out the ground, oh my days, what have I just watched? One of the best Stoke City performances I have seen in an awful long time. No one put a foot, a single foot wrong. You know, it was always going to be the day that Dwight Gale, you know, finally scored properly and intentionally. Of course, he scored the one against Reading, but this one he scored so. You have to wait a long time for a London bus and a Dwight Gale goal, but two come at once. Tyrese Campbell as well, really, really well taken brace, two really good goals. And then there was Josh Lawrence, first half striker as well, but my days, a sweet, sweet, sweet return to Sunderland for Alex Neal. Hope you all have enjoyed. I've tried to summarise that as quickly as I can because I know the video is going to be quite a long one, but I tell you what, it could be 30 minutes. And I don't think anyone cares, but yeah, hope you all have enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you all in the next one. Come on.